Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Read that title right there. Read that title right there. You know what's cracking. You know what time it is. Let's rock. This shit is like a wine cooler Wednesday bull. Malibu cover band is. F- I just love that you're my best friend. You know, yeah. you know you're for sure my best friend. <laughs> friend. Listen, son. I'll never want no lady to refer to me, aka Alina, as her best friend. When couples be saying that shit, this is my best friend. I didn't get with you to be your best friend. All right. I was you so your best friend could wonder what it was like to be your man, okay? We've been together seven years. You're my best friend. No. I'm the one that's you. Best friends don't. Brian and I have had some obstacles with the dramatic height difference between us. Um, I'm explaining that to my parents because I don't think he's the person that they thought I would end up with height-wise, and he's also nine years older than me. (laughs) (laughs) You just finna say he's nine years old. <laughs> just given my height, I'm so much taller than him, and he's nine years old. Yeah, I forgot to leave in that part. There's not a lot of guys who want to date a six foot seven female because it emasculates them. Society tells us a man has to be tall, and it's not true. You hear that? Run that one back, Twitter. That's not true. So I have a little secret surprise for you. I have a little surprise for you. I went to China and got um, steel implants in my shins. So now over the next three months, I will be one inch taller. Today's Haley and I's two year anniversary and I'm super excited. I plan a very romantic evening for us. You're poor I know, it's all good. I feel like our relationship is at a critical point and to move forward, like we need to be engaged and move towards marriage if we're gonna be successful. This means enough to me to risk her family not approving of me. Set this up for you. See what see what happens? See what happens when you start telling little dudes they they are they can't do this and they can't do that. Now we just gonna now we just finna go off at the bagel boss. You said little Pee Pee Wee Wee can't do what he wants. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Bro, that blanket not big enough. You're gonna need a tarp for the both of you. <laughs> when I was in college, I was really hung up on the fact that I'm a big person and I wanna feel small and protected and Brian makes me feel like the most beautiful, perfect, special person in the world and so protected and Hey, you know what? She should feel safe, okay? How tall is fucking Super Mario? One three, okay? He's one three. He'd be shooting fireballs, eating mushrooms. He's crazy, all right? And he goes and fight, fights a fat dude regularly to get his bitch back every time. So, she should feel safe. Um, we're gonna paint the sunset tonight. Aww. And then I wanna exchange paintings kind of for our anniversary, you know? Yeah. After you're done, write your name in kind of big letters here. Okay. And then I'm gonna write my name right here, big letters, okay? Man, this fool 5'8", this full 5'8", but the but the horrible part is as 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 much as he is my height, this man's voice is cracking, dude. I want you to paint the painting and then I'll paint it and then we are gonna swap it later. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. What was that little kiss right there? <laughs> that was crazy. Like a fish, like he just went up to the side of the fish bowl, just. Dating a woman that's six foot seven um, while you're five foot eight comes with its various personal challenges. Do you think when he eat, like when he be eating her out, he just be like pulling on her fupa like a like a set of Olympic rings, and he just be swinging his little feet between her legs while eating her box? Just he just be swinging in between that bitch. Just, Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. The way she say sweetheart is like homework. Great job, sweetheart. Did that one count? Great job. Thank you, sweetheart. A 
Oh shit. He about to hit her with the with the note next door. All right, here we go. Damn, that shit is boo-boo. Brian is so wonderful at being romantic and thoughtful and just wants to surprise me. And he's awesome at really knowing how to make me feel so special. All right, now you can look. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Stan Twitter, this is new this is your new uh spare some coochie, miss. Spare some coochie. He's already short. Why he have to hold it like a rat? You know what I'm saying? He holds it like a gerbil, just fucking. Why you do that, man? This fool already down here, and then he just fucking. Will you marry me, please? <laughs> What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that face? Like he just smelt something. <laughs> His little nostrils went to work. You're my best friend. I've loved you for such a long time, sweetheart. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. There's a Richter scale somewhere picking up his voice and it's just going, this shit is cracking. Would you do me the honor of marrying me? <laughs> Holy shit. Y'all got this screen right here? Listen to this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sound like a Call of Duty zombie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, what if she picked his ass up and just swung him around? I love you. Hey, somebody said put that child down. They yeah, got somebody on the phone. Hi, I think a child's being abducted. There is a young man being strangled by a gigantic Swedish volleyball player. I want a woman to hold me like that. This is exactly what Bagel Boss felt like when he got tackled. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's the screenshot that. Somebody make that their profile picture. That's the type of shit I'm on. Type of shit I'm on. I want a woman to embrace me, so I just feel like I'm like in the clinch, just fucking. Wait, what was the noise? Oh, there was a noise. Hold up, let's see this shit. <coughs> she was throwing up into his little mouth like a bird. <coughs> There's your lunch. <coughs> I invited uh, some of our closest family and friends uh, to a restaurant to celebrate our engagement together. Kind of nervous because we're about to walk into a room full of her loved ones and specifically her father and I'm not sure how everybody's going to react. Dr. Robotnik is planning his comeback now. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you guys set a date? July. July what year? But we are Brian. But we are Brian. But we are you Brian. But we get blurry. Show ass up. Pick your pick your fucking cheeks up. Uh, this year. Poo poo poo. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel betrayed a little bit. I feel like you know what I was told, in such a short time changed. Yeah, bitch. Cause you wasn't gonna give it to him anyway. You were such a fucking sour puss about it. You you don't get to say that afterward. Oh well, Brian. Brian didn't care about me. Shut the fuck up, man. Be happy for your kid. You know, she's just got out of college, and if you wait a few years, and you get a little bit older, you get a little more established, your possibilities of success in, in life are greater. Hey, old man, let me tell you something. Your daughter don't have to do a fucking thing, okay? She could drop all that shit. She could be a stripper tomorrow. What you gonna say then? Nothing. You ain't finna say shit. This is a distraction. I mean, obviously, it's a good distraction. <laughs> it's her fiance but, now. That's a distraction. Well, it's, it's a distraction to the point where she also has to finish her graduate degree. Does she want to go play volleyball in Korea, which she's had an offer earlier? Or she wants to go play in Puerto Rico or in Europe. Those are great things that she's worked a lot of years for. Volleyball in Korea? Come on, man. She don't want to do that. Okay, she wants little. She wants little mouse man to go into the maze that is his office and bring home the cheese, man. Fuck out of here. The world's her oyster, and you know, I don't want him to clam up on her. I don't want him to clam up on her. Being married means being I'm an adult, and I'm not his anymore, I'm someone else's. 
We're just stay away from this boy. He doesn't know how to deal with I want that relationship between Brian and my dad to be solid. Oh yeah, brother, drink up. Drink the fuck up. Cause you in for it. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Hampton whenever they can get married. Shit. All right, this is your new meme right here. Mark every dude as uh, six foot, and then mark Brian as 5'11". All right, what does Dr. Robotnik got to say? I definitely feel uh, intimidated. All these tall family members. You know, the sheer size. I mean, seven foot two, six foot nine. Hey, this is, I like him after all, because you can kind of You insecure, big man? You look insecure. What a douchebag. Oh, I like him because I can fucking lean on him. Blah, blah, blah. And that's when you, Brian, look at him and say, yeah, you need something to lean on with your old shitty back. <laughs> with your brittle ass back. That shit is ashing, bro. Your back looking like a lit cigarette. I just, and that shit gonna go out. Old nasty ass, dusty ass back. That fucking in-law humor. In-law family humor just makes you want to fucking blow your brains out, doesn't it? That shit just makes you want to fucking die slow. You gotta sit there and listen to your fucking in-laws make the same shitty ass jokes and you just sit in there like... You see this thing with the short guy and the bagels? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs>